It's probably the easiest job I've ever had. It's the most money I've ever made. But I want to leave. Sean Granier. I go by Sean G. I'm a tankerman for the maritime industry. A tankerman is basically a operator for a barge. And what a barge is, is basically like a giant container that holds like million, a million gallons of oil. And so I'm the operator of this, this uh, barge. I control, you know, the valves and the engines to load and discharge the product to uh, a ship or a refinery. I guess you could say we're kind of like a floating gas station. Started in my young 20s and started as a deckhand. So I don't know if you've been outside today. Holy hell. Hey, check it out. I'm just learning how the, the basics, how to clean a boat, how to take orders from a captain, and start as a deckhand and you work your way up. The, the first company has like an, like an in-house uh, school. The company that I'm with now does not have an in-house school. They send you to a school. You do your deckhand duties like clean paint and you know throw lines and stuff like that. You assist the other the other tank, the, the actual tanker I mean, that's on there, you know. If you cook, if you know how to cook, if you don't, you'll learn. Most of the time, you're you're a deckhand for a little while and then you uh, move up to a tankerman position. We get paid by the day. It could be anywhere between 100 and, I would say 140 to 180 a day for a, a deckhand. And then I would say probably about 250 to 350 to uh, for, a, for a tankerman. Above tankerman, then you become a, a wheelman, which is like a captain, basically. You drive the boat. And then they make over 100,000 a year. And that's, and that's where I'm at. I have the, the credentials as far as I worked my way up to a captain credentially. I'm a, in the position that I'm in, I'm still a tanker. If I stayed, I could probably call the guy right now and say, hey, look, I want to move up. And he'd be like, okay. And it wouldn't take long. I've been with this company for a long time, or for a good amount of time. And I would just call him and you know, he would just move me up to that 100,000 a year yeah, status. Yeah, uh, 14 days on the boat and then seven days off the boat. 14 days working, like living on the boat, like you don't go home, so two weeks. And then you get you go home for just one week. 21 days a month, eight to nine months a year. So this is, this is Rudy here. He always eats noodles every day. Yeah, he eats noodles every day. He caught me on a bad hair day. It's actually a good hair day, it's not that bad. If you have a really cool crew and you're, you're all, all bros, then your two weeks will go by you know, so smoothly. So, uh, But if it's a bad crew, you just can't wait to leave and then like you're just watching that clock. You know, just going so slow. Oh, I'm busted in. <laughs> I guess I'm invested in the horse track down, down the road. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't need money. Man! <laughs> Wake up. There's two schedules. There's split schedules. There are six hours on, six hours off. One tankerman will have the front watch, which is which is 6 a.m. to noon. Then the front watch guy gets up at 6 p.m., works till midnight, and then I wake up, or the back watch wakes up at midnight and works till 6 a.m. So I wake up, depending on what's going on, whether we're uh, you know, on a ship, fueling the ship, or loading the, the oil into the barge at a plant or a refinery or, or something like that. It's probably the easiest job I've ever had. It's the most money I've ever made. But I wanna leave because like as a creative person you can't grow you don't you're not able to challenge yourself there's ways around it by reading books and stuff like that utilizing the time that you're on there but you have to have like the right mindset and if you don't have the, the right mindset then you're just gonna follow in the rat race you're going to just stay on Facebook the whole time you're gonna watch all these TV shows and your Netflix and you're not gonna grow, you're just gonna settle. You're not challenging your, your mind. And a lot of them just throw away their health. They don't exercise, they don't watch what they eat. That's why I'm leaving.
because you can't challenge yourself as a creative person. Yeah, I'm going to probably be get, losing a lot of money because, you know, we make really good money, 80,000, you know, from Tankerman and up, it's 80,000 and up a year. So I'm gonna get a big in on the pretty soon. And, uh, so I'm gonna try this. Be losing a lot of money, which is where that mindset comes in. I've set myself up with hardly any debt and um, savings and I'm able to you know live really minimal and so with another job I really don't need to make eighty thousand dollars it's the sacrifice that I don't you know that I don't want to do anymore to be gone to make eighty thousand plus it's not worth it to me the job itself is probably like I said the easiest job the hardest part is being gone and not being able to you know be who you are the hardest part about being gone is like I said, not being able to to do the things that you want to do, what what you're truly passionate about, spend time with your family, your friends, more simplistic things that you take for granted, like sleeping in your own bed, taking your son, like if you have kids, like taking your son to school, or you go into his baseball game, or to your daughter's dance recital, going to a concert, the everyday daily things. It takes a, a strong-minded individual to be able to, to to do this type of transition. And it's taken me a little bit to do it, but I'm ready. The creative thing that I'm I'm trying to chase, trying to accomplish is entrepreneurship. Most of the guys that know me, they could probably vouch for that. I'm all about reading books and you know trying to build a business or learn businesses, business aspects or stuff like that. Film, just recently started getting into film real heavy. Uh, photography, it's, it's the freelance, it's the freedom the freedom jobs, the freedom careers that I want. To be able to do my own thing is, is my motto. I do my own thing. Whether it pays me 20000 a year, I can do it. That's more important to me than to make 80000 a year and be stuck on a boat. For me, life is relationships with your loved ones and experiencing travel and, and just living. Staying on that boat, you're not living. You're, you're confined to this small, boat that has a bunch of drama but there's money involved but it's just not worth it to me if i could give anybody any any advice for this industry i would say there's two parts to it two feelings about it you know i i respect it it's becoming a really respectable career i've seen it change a lot of people for the good including me but it, it just it's past who you are in a person you know most of the time you're going to be young getting into this i would say Probably what everybody else would say is save your money and don't throw away any other opportunities because you're gonna get bored, you're gonna get tired of it. You don't want to just be stuck with no other opportunities. So you, you're able to get out there and take some online classes. Nowadays you can pretty much learn anything off of YouTube. Software skill on the side and then if you decide to get off the boats you have you have something to fall back on, but you can go out there and, and experience it, see what it's like, make you some good money, but just don't throw any other, any passion out the window because that'll, that money will just suck it up fast. So nice. Look at this. So fucking crazy.